lecture halls. Patrick Rothfuss was an ordinary panelist. <laughs> the mixer was out in the courtyard. Sorry, I was just playing J-pop off a computer. <laughs> <laughs> now look at this. Look around at how much we've grown and how we almost look organized. <laughs> <laughs> this is because of you guys. You keep coming back to attend panels, to play games, cosplay, and just have a good time. And we need to keep growing to accommodate the increasingly large mob every year. <laughs> and we're happy to do so, and we hope we can keep growing into the future. So my challenge for you is for you to grow as well. There's so much going on, and this is a great place to try something you hadn't thought to do before. Watch a new show, try out a new game, go outside, take arms in the tent. Create <laughs> a, a new experience. That's, that's the fun of being here. So, uh, first thing I'd like to do is introduce to everybody the mastermind behind this operation, who I'm making say a few words. Uh, <laughs> everyone welcome. Everyone welcome this year's chairman, the maniacal tube master himself, Chris Hampton. Hello, everybody. Uh, like I said, my name's Chris Hampton. Uh, I took. Uh, I was voted in chairman this year, and I'm kind of excited to help make this happen. Um, like he was saying, we do this for you guys. You're what let us do this every year. Um, it is an honor and a privilege to help put this on for you. Um, I get asked every so often, like, why we put in so many hours, because uh, we do. Uh, no sleep con, woo! Um, we put in an immense number of hours throughout the year and over this weekend to help put this on. And we get asked, why? Well, last year, um, I was head of workforce, and I remember walking through the hall without my badge on, no staff shirt, just sort of incognito, and I had, uh, I walked by and heard two girls, I think they were in maybe their teens, they were saying, oh man, I love GeekCon, I look forward every year to come here, and like, that sort of sentiment, like the enjoyment you guys get and what we see and feel from you guys being here is the reason we do what we do. It's the reason we work so hard to make this happen. We put in tons of effort every year and you guys seem to enjoy it and we love you for it. Um, like uh, Adam had said, we have our tent outside which we're extremely excited about. We are trying to uh, expand our space here, considering we have limited room. <laughs> so we're doing what we can. So make sure you check that out. Um, we're extremely proud of our uh, new trust. This is crazy. Isn't it? Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I, know, we, I, I know, right? Can um, we make, sure, make sure to come by tonight and see it all lit up. It's going to be awesome. Um, we also, every year, we're improving our video game room and our tabletop room. We're extremely proud of what we've done there. Um, VGR is killing it this year, so is tabletop. We have more games than we've ever had. It's kind of crazy. I didn't know we had that many. <laughs> um, but again, uh, I'm not a man of many words, but I do want to say uh, we appreciate you guys. We're glad you could be here for this, and uh, thank you for letting me do this. So, yeah, as Chris alluded to, this is, this is when I talk about some of the new stuff we have going on. I'm sure you saw the really big one coming in. We've got that big tent outside. It is called Geek Dome. Uh, it's going to be our new home of Moffer events all day. And uh, at the night is where we'll be hosting our uh, ultimate werewolf, which gets just ridiculously huge and we can never find enough space for it. So that's going to be going out there in, at Geek, at, uh, in Geek Dome at night. Uh, we'll also have some uh, demos from the SCA on Sunday. So we're really excited to have this out there. We want to make this a regular thing. We do ask that you be careful around the walls and the supports and don't break it. Please. Uh, another, another cool thing we have going on this year is a photo room. Uh, finally, we have a dedicated place to take photos uh, away from the hallways, which we understand the lights kind of there is a smattering of applause for that, I understand. <laughs> uh, so this is a space to use as you want for any photography you need to do. We do have some scheduled photo shoots that we have suggested uh, in our program book and on the app and on the big wall schedule outside. 
Uh, but if nobody's in there, feel free to go in, uh, take pictures, have fun. Uh, the only time during the day when it's unavailable is going to be tomorrow from 1.30 to 4. And that's when our, uh, one of our, uh, our main audio autograph sessions is going to be. So that's the only time when you can't use it. Uh, incidentally, that's when the autograph session is. Because people will ask. For autographs. Yeah, <laughs> autographs. Not quite a new event. We did have it last year. This year we're actually going to be ready for it. Uh, the Haunted Maze last year caught us all off guard. Last year it was just some, some people who decided to run a panel and ended up doing that, and it was phenomenal. Uh, this time it's back, it's souped up, uh, it's once again going to be based on five, five Nights at Freddy's. Biggest change we have going on this year is, is going to be two different runs of it. The first run is uh, kind of a day mode, it's just sort of a straight up maze, the lights are going to be on, nobody's going to be jumping out at you, all the characters are, uh, we've, to we've been told all the characters are going to behave, <laughs> it is Five Nights, so who, who knows. Uh, after that's done, we will be doing a night mode. Good luck. <laughs> we uh, liked them so much last year, we threw a bucket of money at them. So, yeah, that starts Saturday night at 8.30. And of course, we've also got some many great, great events returning. Rocky Horror is back for another year. If you haven't checked out our Conquest or Artemis rooms before, please do so. They're really cool. They put new spins on tabletop and video gaming. Uh, once again, we'll have our fanfiction escapade again, the worst fanfic we could find. This year we may invite you to read along. <laughs> and of course these karaoke, cosplay chess, fanfiction music video contests. So many panels we needed an extra room to fit them all. So uh, be sure to check everything out. Uh, one final room I wanted to talk about is a uh, quiet area. And um, for more information on quiet area we have the liaison to the hotel liaison, uh, Scott. That's me. Yep. <laughs> You're going to talk about quiet area. Which currently you can't sleep, which is kind of stupid. All right. So what we have new this year, uh, we have a small area off just behind the restaurant. Uh, we're calling it the quiet zone. Uh, it's a place... Can you make fun of the light to your mouth. This good? Yeah. Good? Okay. So this year we have the quiet zone. It's an area that we want you to... Feel that you can go and relax. If you're overwhelmed, uh, if, if it's too much for you, you don't have a room here, we have a place that's it's, it's quiet, the lights are dimmed, there's a few chairs, a couple of air couches. Um, if, if, you, if, you know, like I said, if you're feeling overwhelmed and you can't go anywhere else, uh, it's behind the, the Atrium's restaurant. There's a small room back there that we just discovered. Uh, please, please, please come and use it if you feel that you need it. Uh, take a few minutes, relax, it's brand new, so I don't have a whole lot to say about it yet. <laughs> I don't know if there's anybody been in there yet, uh, but it is staffed. Nobody else is allowed in there, unless you need it. So, anything else? No? I, I, I poke my head in there, there's coloring books. <laughs> yeah, there's no sleeping. That's dumb. Yeah. Okay, so um, I also want to talk about our charity events. Uh, every year we raise money and canned food products for Second Harvest Food Bank of Southern Wisconsin. Now, last year we managed to top $1,000 for the first time ever. Nice. <laughs> Your challenge is to meet that. There are three different ways to do that. Um, first off, our annual mask ball. This is our featured event. It starts tonight at 7 o'clock. Once again, we take you on, a on board the Anivoria for a steampunk murder mystery uh, during the Queen's coronation. It is a masked formal event. Uh, attendees can get in for a donation of $5 or six canned goods. Now, we've had our bucket battles for a while, but they've taken a dramatic new turn this year. Uh, once out in the lobby, you'll see our, our usual contest that we do every year. This year we're voting on the most villainous characters. We will be forced to bow down to whoever races the most. I believe it's Mom from Futurama versus Dolores Umbridge today. <laughs> so, we have to obey whoever wins that one. 
Uh, but Lord, this year we have an extra special bucket battle. Uh, there is a poke stop out in the atrium, and yes, it's an actual poke stop because <laughs> you're going to ask about that too. There are there is a uh, bin out there with three different slots: Valor, Mystic, Instinct. <laughs> Geekon's official affiliation and loyalty is on the line. <laughs> Whichever team raises the most money for charity gets our, po gets our support in perpetuity. This is not a joke. <laughs> I believe our first check, I believe Valor was winning. No. Yeah! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> there was some hostility in the audience, I sense. <laughs> You can do something about this. And everyone who cheered for Valu, you know that people are going to do something about this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. It goes to a good cause. Please bring it. Uh, we will be declaring our official Pokemon Go team at closing ceremonies. And finally, we've got City Crusher uh, back again this year. We are actually we're moving it out to the atrium so everybody can witness the madness. We had it in Monona last year, and it was kind of far away, and nobody got to see what happened. It was crazy. This year, we are doing a live auction on Sunday. Uh, the highest bidder is going to get first crack at tearing through our cardboard city like their favorite kaiju. <laughs> we also encourage anyone who's free Sunday morning to stop by, help create some more buildings for bidders to destroy. The more buildings, the more people that will get a chance to demolish them. <laughs> And now all of this only scratches the surface of everything we've got going on. Uh, we get that there is a lot happening, which is why we've made it easy to keep up with it all. Uh, you can visit sked.org uh, for a mobile-friendly schedule. It com it's complete with maps, guest bios, and this will be regularly updated. So if there are any changes, there already have been a few changes from the program book, um, they will be reflected on there. Uh, the other place where we're going to list the challenges, we have a, uh, the changes is there's going to be a si uh, sheet outside registration for any other changes. Uh, we'll also post updates and reminders on our Twitter account at GeekCon. You can also use that to keep in touch with us all weekend. We we check it as often as we can. Uh, we also have an Instagram account. You can tag GeekCon on all your con photos and connect with other attendees. And we also share some of the photos we take at con and hopefully some cool behind the scenes stuff when we get to it we also encourage uh, everyone to subscribe to our facebook and uh, follow us on twitter make sure you get information on guest announcements registration information and more we keep it updated all year now while we love running amok <laughs> we do have rules here <laughs> And uh, they do need to be followed to keep the convention coming back every year. So this is the moment you've all been dreading. And by you, I mean me, <laughs> because I'm sure Scott's going to run out here and make a mockery of everything I'm trying to do. So rather than having him interrupt me again, I'm going to wait for him this time. Scott? Oh, Scott, this is your cue. Hello, GeekCon! Hey, Adam. Um, I know this is where I'm supposed to come out on stage and uh, usually help you with the rules, but um, on my way there, um, some villainous types grabbed me, and um, <laughs> yeah, I've been kidnapped. <laughs> um, so I guess this is supposed to be my ransom video, but really hoping you could inform them that on the convention grounds, all state, federal, and local laws still apply. So <laughs> kidnapping is totally illegal. They should really just let me go so I can come there and help you. How, how did this happen? Um, well, this part of it might be my fault. I was kind of experimenting with a uh, teleporter, and um, I reversed the polarity of the neutron flow. And I think I created kind of a mirror, mirror, parallel universe situation. Um, so, yeah, let me introduce you to the villains who kidnapped me. This will be good. 
<laughs> well, Adam, we meet at last. We have your scout in our secret lair. That's my condom. No, 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 no. no. It's an evil lair. Put that up on the wall. Make sure to use blue painter's tape. Blue <laughs> <laughs> painter's tape. Since you fools decided to celebrate villains, we will be doing the rules video. Obey us. And you will have your precious Scott back. Precious Scott? Have you met Scott? <laughs> Weird, right, Adam? I mean, there's an evil version of me. I thought I was the evil version of me. Yeah, what well, if I don't want Scott back? <laughs> Too bad. In this dystopian reality, we are constantly monitoring your location. Therefore, no. all badges must be shown at all times on convention grounds. That's... Children under 12 must be accompanied by a guardian or over 18 sponsor. Hey, look what I found. An unescorted minor. Uh, well, <laughs> welcome to the team. Lucas, I'm Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I think the better. No unauthorized sales on the convention grounds. After the con, after the con. Yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> Did they just... Adam, it's, it's been like this the entire time. Just villainous monologue after villainous monologue. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I can take it anymore. Like, <laughs> it's not the threat of torture. Sure. I just want them to stop talking. <laughs> Go back to them, actually. Outside of state-approved battle zones, mock and stage combat is not allowed. Adam, Adam, call off the baby, call off the baby! Lucas, put the buster sword down! Oh my god! <laughs> Take it to Geek Dome! All lost and found items should be taken to our evil mountain fortress. Or hey. the, the staff room. Adam, yes. I got the lost and found here. I got some pretty neat stuff here. And look, another eye catch. Uh, I can be even more evil. Why is it evil? Yes. Yes. Evil Mountain Fortress. Evil Mountain Fortress. We have one of those. Okay. No, we, we don't. We don't. It's really cool. Oh, oh, oh. No blocking hallways or sleeping in public areas. Yeah, look behind you. Oh, you heard, boo. It's okay. I'm up. And I'm facing the camera completely respectful. Yes, you are. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take off the, one of the eye patches. Good. It's more evil, but... Oh, it hurts. It hurts to be evil. You're evil enough with one. Yes, I am. And finally, although we are villains, it's no excuse to be rude or be a jerk. Treat yeah. hotel staff and property with respect. Treat convention staff with respect. Treat other attendees with respect. Yeah, just because you're evil doesn't mean you be around respectful. And a jerk. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Bide your time. That was almost useful. Hey, but at least they have the real Scott, and that's the important thing. Um, Adam, I think I'm gonna make my escape now. You don't have to do um, that. I'm really following every villain cliche in the book. I'm barely tied up here. Here, and they kind of just left one inept guard. <laughs> and so, um, I'm just gonna break myself out of here. Okay, I'll uh, see you in a bit. That's all, you don't have to. Uh... <laughs> Okay, evil us, apparently. <laughs> so I made my escape. Oh. <laughs> it is me, the good Scott. See, not evil Scott. <laughs> Honestly, I can't tell the difference. Okay. Oh, I'm on the other iPad, too. Ah! Ow! I cut my whole knee. <laughs> At this time, I would like to bring up our security head, who can bring some sense of normality <laughs> and sameness to this, and he's going to talk about our awesome security team. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Hi, everybody. 
Hi. Hi, Darcy Nick. Come on, you can do better than that. Hi, everybody. Hi, Nick. Good, good. <laughs> I am uh, the head of security. I'm, my name is Wolf. Uh, you can tell because it says so on my vest. <laughs> it doesn't say evil anywhere. I'm the good one, honestly. <laughs> my evil twin is right there. <laughs> That's my uh, second in command, Hideori. Uh, <laughs> sure, yes. if you want to. Go ahead. <laughs> so, if you have any questions or any problems during the convention, please feel free to approach myself, my second in command, Hideori, or any one of our other security staff. We are here to help, we're here to make sure everyone has a safe, fun weekend. Um, you can tell that we're we're security, we have black badges, they're fairly easy to spot, uh, and we'll be roaming around in pairs, so you know, feel free. Uh, everybody on my staff has one of the Geekon staff shirts, so feel free to approach any of us. We don't bite, I promise. <laughs> uh, so um, feel free if you have any questions. If you want to know what it's like to work security, please feel free to come by the Madison boardroom, which is where we have our security bridge. We'll be happy to tell you all about what we do for the weekend. Um, we also, you may have noticed, uh, that, uh, around the con, as in years prior, we have our signs for safe zones. Uh, those are back again. They seem to be a really huge hit, so we're keeping them going. And, uh, I'm gonna give this back to, uh, talk a little bit more about safe zones. So, let me get this, I'm just trying to figure this out here. Evil wolf, would that be bad wolf? <laughs> 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 Just throwing that out there. Uh, in order to make sure that everybody uh, enjoys their experience at GeekCon, we do have safe zones uh, throughout the convention. These points will always have a staff presence throughout the weekend. Uh, they are currently located in the staff room, the security bridge in front of the, uh, the front desk at the video game and tabletop rooms, uh, our merchandise table in the vendor room, outside our viewing rooms, and the quiet area while it is open. So, feel free to use those if you, if you need to. Now, all right then, you've been patient enough and put up with all of that, so let's introduce some guests. Woo! Guests, you are free to come up here and say something if you'd like, otherwise you can just stand up and wave. <laughs> it's your choice. <laughs> No, one, I will go one at a time, and, well, yeah, yeah. So, uh, our first guest is an author originally from Tennessee. He's now here in Wisconsin. His novels include Wisp of a Thing, The Hum and the Shiver, He Drank and Saw the Spider, and The Girls with Games of Blood. Uh, let's welcome Alex Bledsoe. A uh, freelance writer with RPG credits and writing works in Flames Rising Press and Alliteration Inc., uh, Bill Bodden is here for this one. We have an actor for television and video games, best known as Ranger Marcus Cole on Babylon 5. Everyone, welcome Jason Carter. A writer and uh, creator of esteemed graphic novels, including Azteca, please welcome Enrique Yang. A voice actor with way too many roles to list off, probably best known as the voice of Kyo in Fruits Basket and Jimmy Kudo in Case Close, making his third GeekCon appearance, Jerry Jewell. <laughs> Someone was gonna bite. Nobody was talking, which I find odd when they're invited to. I knew it would be an actor, because you can't trust them. I knew there'd be some sneaky actor that goes, I think they need to hear me say something. Um, I'm glad to be here again. I've been here a couple times before, but it was years ago. And I'm, I'm happy to be here to reconnect with some of you. Some of you I've never met you before, but I'll meet you this weekend. Unless you don't want to meet me, in which case we won't, and this is the only time we'll get to have to talk to each other, so it's been nice to meet you. Goodbye. <laughs> wow, it has been a while. Four years, I think it's been. Wow. Welcome back. 
Uh, next up, uh, cosplayers, writers, and all around proponents of being awesome to each other as fans, Brianna Lawrence and Jessica Walsh. Oh, oh I missed one. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Okay, I will go back to this one and uh, another voice actor. Um, please welcome Christina Kelly. Hi! Whoa! Peace. Hi. Um, <laughs> hi, my name's Christina Kelly. I'm from Texas. Hi! Um, this is my first time uh, in Wisconsin, so yeah. I love It's really pretty here. Really pretty. And my first time at GeekCon, so thank you so much for having me. And um, please come to my panel. It's from 7 to 8 tonight. And um, come to the group panels as well. That, there's one right after that with me, Ryan, and Jerry. Jerry. Jer is that your name, Jerry? Okay, yeah, Jerry. Um, we're doing that right at 8 o'clock, I think, 8 to 9. So come to that. It'll be fun. 9 to 10? Sorry, it's 9 to 10. My bad. Okay. Well, come. Thanks. I'm going to double check that, actually. I don't want to mislead anybody. This is the nice thing about having this on a mobile app, is I can double check this to make sure that, yes, this is it. Uh, the panel is what it is. Yes, it is 9 to 10. Technology, wow. <laughs> I can do that, but apparently I don't know the alphabet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, comes before it. Okay, a creator of 2D and 3D digital art and the writer and illustrator of Devers also. <laughs> there you go, Peter Lee. <laughs> Next up, a professional in the gaming industry, owner and pub of game publisher Flames Rising Press, as well as a freelance game developer. Please welcome Matt McElroy. <laughs> Thank you, Sam, here for tonight. Okay, a New York Times best-selling author. His works include the Star Wars novel, Star Wars, A New Dawn, and Kenobi. Welcome back, John Jackson Miller. Well, if the actors are gonna talk, I guess the writers should talk at some point. <laughs> uh, I, yes, I, I was here three years ago, and I thank uh, the convention for making the same mistake again. <laughs> I, uh, when I was here three years ago, we were just debuting Kenobi, uh, I think the week after. Uh, since then, uh, I've written other Star Wars books. Uh, the last year, though, I've been living basically in my basement trying to finish a trilogy for Star Trek that uh, is launching this fall, and I am doing... Uh, this is my first convention since getting done, so I'm really, really glad to be here. So... Uh, and yes, I am doing uh, the Rule the Galaxy Together, our shared universe panel. That's the one that we did at Star Wars Celebration. This is the first convention in the Midwest that I've actually done this panel at, so this should be a lot of fun. So uh, may the Force live long and prosper. And <laughs> we have to toe the line now. Okay, um, that was the best mistake we made inviting you. <laughs> Author of urban fantasy series Scarlet Bernard and Boundary Magic, let's welcome Melissa Olson. Thank you, Jerry. Everyone wants to talk now. It's a trend. Um, hi, guys. I'm fresh off Worldcon last weekend, and DragonCon is next weekend. And I gotta say, this is probably the place I'm most excited to be because this is my town. You guys are my people. Um, although I did learn when I picked up my badge today that someone else picked up my badge at 2.45. You was you? Damn, I was hoping there was an imposter and we could all hunt her and it would be so fun. I was gonna do a whole, there is another kind of speed. All right, fine. Okay, we'll talk later. You might be a better me, we don't know. So now we have an evil Melissa Olsen as well. Next up, uh, by day a mild mannered teacher, by night a game designer, best known for his contributions to Shadowrun and as the creator of the game Let's Kill, uh, Aaron Papal. Next. Yeah, he's got, it's a, it's a school day. 
We go through this every year. <laughs> Uh, next up, an editorial assistant working with fantasy, sci-fi, and historical fiction authors. Welcome, Katie Pfeiffer. We have a voice actress for Funimation Entertainment, best known as Latvia in Italia, and with roles in Fairy Tale and Dead Man Wonderland, already making her way on stage. Back for another year, Ryan Reynolds. three years ago too. I'm so happy to be back. I love this convention. I love everybody here. Um, I've got uh, an Otaku, Je Otaku Jeopardy panel on Sunday, so please, if if you think you know a lot about anime or really just pop culture in general, please come to my panel. Uh, it's going to be really fun. Uh, I've got surprises. It, it'll, it'll be great. So I hope to see you there. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> Uh, she used to serve as an, assist, an assistant editor for Marvel Comics and is literally a comic book scholar at UW, Jennifer Smith. A 20-year veteran of the comic book industry, he's inked numerous comics for Marvel and DC, including Spider-Man, Avengers, and Flash, currently working on Zombie Tale Survival, Mark Stegbauer. I think he's at his table, probably, yeah. We'll get into the tables in, in a second. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll read that off next year. I forgot to read that one. Okay. Oh, that one's next year's too. Maybe I didn't finish this on time. Okay. Um, just gonna close out of there then, I guess. Um, so, she's a... Don't trust these two last schedules, I guess. Uh, she's a professional author and game designer with several stories, including Red Wings Gambit and Tail Feather, also the lead developer and writer for the new Firefly RPG books. Welcome back, Monica Valentinelli. It's been a hectic afternoon. I've been putting this slideshow together in pieces, and I guess I didn't complete it. Uh, I, what was that? No, that video was, was uh, that, that sets the standard for this whole operation. Uh, I also want to point out that several of our guests do have tables in Artist Alley, uh, where they'll have various goodies on sale. Uh, their tables will be open when they are available, not in the middle of doing panels and such. So uh, there they are, all listed and updated for this year. Are you sure? Yes. We have a different layout. We had a different layout this year, so that one has been updated. So, uh, with that, it is my honor to declare open GeekCon 2016. 2016? Go do things. <laughs> One thing to request from everybody. For anybody running panels, do us all a favor, and please, if you need anything in the room worked on, let a staff member know, and they'll get someone on equipment team to come look at it. Thank you.